Hi students and a big hello to everyone watching around the Philippines. I am Teacher Mike, your Technology and Livelihood Education teacher. Welcome to our fourth episode and today you will gain a better understanding of the devices connected to a computer as I will discuss the connection of PC hardware and peripheral devices. So bring out your pen and paper and join me as we build your knowledge towards a better future, one skill at a time. Welcome to TLE9. Let us study TLE. Let us study, come with me. All of the knowledge and all of the skills will help you to be life ready. Will help you to be life ready. Hi, I phoned last time about my slow computer after removing NSR files from my hard disk drive. I still find it slow. Maybe I need to upgrade my computer. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Oh, another thing. Since I'm teaching, do you sell headset and web cameras here? Thank you so much. I'll have a look now and see what I can find. In providing good customer service, it is very important to create a connection between your customers. And in computer system, the connection is also very important because this serves as a link between a plug or connector into a port or jack. Students, do you still remember the definition of hardware? When we say port, this connects external devices to a system unit. There are many peripheral devices, but they fall into three general categories. We have the input devices, output devices, and storage devices. So what are the different types of input devices? Here are some of the commonly used input devices. We have a keyboard, computer mouse, graphic tablet, touchscreen, microphone, webcam, and joystick or game controller. Every time you are in your online class and your teacher asks you to answer a specific question, which peripheral device will you use so your teacher could hear you? It's a microphone!
Students, do you love computer games? If you do, may I know what game you enjoy the most? Do you think it would be better to use a joystick or a game controller for a better gaming experience? Here are some of the common output devices that are still being used today. We have the speaker, headphone, monitor, printer, and a projector. Imagine yourself listening or watching a movie using a surround sound speaker. I could just imagine how enjoyable it could be. At present, monitors are evolving fast as users are also looking for high-definition monitors not just for their televisions but also for their computers. Just imagine yourself working, gaming, watching HD movies on ultra-high-definition screen. I am sure you too will be very amazed. At the beginning of the pandemic, I even remember 3D printers were widely used to create personal protection equipment face shields for our frontliners. Thank you and a big salute to the 3D printers. Our last output device is something that I am sure you've seen in school. It is a device that your teacher brings to the classroom if he or she has something to present, like a PowerPoint or a video presentation to the class. Do you have any idea? It is a projector. Aside from the input and output devices, there are also other devices inserted or plugged into the computer system to store data, images, music, videos, and other files. These are what we call storage devices. So what are some examples of external storage devices that are commonly used at present? We have optical storage, flash drives, and external hard disk drives. So do you know which one has the largest storage capacity among the three? The answer is a Blu-ray disc.
Did you know that back in 2017, Kingston released the world's highest capacity USB flash drive called the Kingston Data Traveler Ultimate GT? And can you guess its storage capacity? It's two terabytes, and that is so huge. But of course, everything comes at a price. Storage devices with higher capacity are more expensive. As mentioned, a port connects an external device to the system unit while the connector is part of the cable that you plug into the port. Remember that I mentioned that most ports are now switching to a USB type of port. What if I ran out of USB ports? Where will I plug the other peripherals? You will need a USB port hub.
Students, at this time, it's time to check what you have learned from our topic. Let's have a short review. Today, I want you to choose the letter of the correct answer. In each question or statement, you will be given three seconds to answer. Are you ready? Let's begin. Students, how many points did you get? I am sure you all did well in this review and because of that, a big congratulations to all. Students, for this episode's assignment, I want you to think outside the box when you answer this question that I will be giving you. If you can create a peripheral device for a computer, what would it be and how will it function? Let me know your thoughts. Just post your answers on our Facebook page www.facebook.com slash TLE with Teacher Mike and do not forget to write your name and the name of your school and always use the hashtag TLE with Teacher Mike. I cannot wait to see your answers because I know that some of them will be very interesting and intriguing. Well students, that's all the time that we have for today. I do hope that you learn a lot from our topic. Next time, we will discuss one of the most commonly used input devices, and that is a keyboard. Once again, I am Teacher Mike, your grade 9 TLE teacher, leaving you with a code from Bill Gates. I think it's fair to say that personal computers have become the most empowering tool we've ever created. They are tools of communication, they are tools of creativity, and they can be shaped by their users. Who knows, you could be the next Bill Gates. Thank you for watching Depot TV and I'll see you next time.